Hi friends, I have a book I want to read to you. It's called Library Lion. The author is Michelle Knudsen and the illustrator is Kevin Hawks. I love this story and I think you're going to love it too. It's really exciting. The lion gets himself in a little trouble in this story and I'm going to read it to you part one and then part two. Okay, so here's, before any words, here's the picture. You can see a lion walking down the sidewalk with another kind of cat, a house cat, looking at him a little surprised. Library lion. One day, a lion came to the library. He walked right past the circulation desk and up into the stacks. Oh boy. Mr. McBee ran down the hall to the head librarian's office. Miss Merriweather, he called. No running, said Miss Merriweather, without looking up. But there's a lion, said Mr. McBee, in the library. Is he breaking any rules? asked Miss Merriweather. She was very particular about rule breaking. Well, no, said Mr. McBee, not really. Then leave him be. The lion wandered all around the library. He sniffed the card catalog. He rubbed his head against the new book collection. And then he padded over to the story corner and went to sleep. No one was sure of what to do. There weren't any rules about lions in the library. Soon it was time for story hour. There weren't any rules about lions at story hour either. The story lady seemed a little nervous, but she read out the first book's title in a good clear voice. The lion looked up. The story lady kept reading. The lion stayed for the next story and the story after that. He waited for another story, but the children began to walk away. Story hour is over, a little girl told him. It's time to go. The lion looked at the children. He looked at the story lady. He looked at the closed books, and then he roared very loud. Roar! Oh boy. Miss Merriweather came striding out of her office. Who is making that noise? She demanded. It's the lion, said Mr. McBee. Miss Merriweather marched over to the lion. If you cannot be quiet, you will have to leave, she said in a stern voice. Those are the rules. The lion kept roaring. He sounded sad. The little girl tugged on Miss Merriweather's dress. If he promises to be quiet, can he come back for story hour tomorrow? She asked. The lion stopped roaring. He looked at Miss Merriweather. Miss Merriweather looked back and then she said, yes, a nice quiet lion would certainly be allowed to come back for story hour tomorrow. Hooray, said the children. Apparently, they like having the lion at the library. The next day, the lion came back. You are early, said Miss Merriweather. Story, is, story hour is not until three o'clock. The lion did not budge. Very well, said Miss Merriweather. You might as well make yourself useful. 
and she sent him off to dust off the encyclopedias until it was time for story hour. The next day, the lion came early again. This time, Miss Merriweather asked him to lick all the envelopes for the overdue notices. <laughs> That's a big lion tongue. Soon the lion began doing things without even being asked. He dusted the encyclopedias, he licked the envelopes, he let small children stand on his back to reach books on the highest shelves, and then he curled up in the story corner to wait for story hour to begin. At first, the people in the library were nervous about the lion, but soon they got used to having him around. In fact, he seemed very well suited for the library. His big feet were quiet on the library floor. He made a comfy backrest for the children at story hour. And he never roared in the library any more. What a helpful lion, people said. They patted his soft head as he walked by. How did we ever get along without him? Mr. McBee scowled when he heard that. They had always gotten along fine before. No lions were needed. Lions, he thought, could not understand rules. They did not belong in a library. One day, after he had dusted all the encyclopedias and licked all the envelopes and helped all the small children, the lion padded down the hall to Miss Merriweather's office to see what else there was to do. There was still some time left before story hour. Oh, hello, lion, said Miss Merriweather. I know something you can do. You can bring a book back into the stacks for me. Let me just get it down from the shelf. Miss Merriweather stepped up onto the step stool. The book was just out of reach. Miss Merriweather stood on her toes. She stretched out her fingers. Almost there, she said. Then Miss Merriweather stretched a little too far. Ouch, said Miss Merriweather softly. She did not get up. Mr. McBee, she called after a minute. Mr. McBee. But Mr. McBee was at the circulation desk. He could not hear her calling. Lion, said Miss Merriweather, please go and get Mr. McBee. The lion ran down the hall. No running, Miss Mer Merriweather called after him. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but I'm going to read you the second half of this book next time, okay? Don't forget to come back for it.